Well, today we're going to use the Raspberry Pi to control uh, LEGO Robotics. LEGO has its NXT system, uh, an intelligent brick uh, to control motors uh, to read sensors. But today we're going to do that with a Raspberry Pi. We made a special PCB to uh, control the robotics of LEGO. As you can see here in the schematic, we have our power supply, 9 volts DC input. And 9 volts is used to control the motors that are connected to these sockets. And we make here our 5 volts, which is used internally on our shield, as I call it for the moment. And it's used to, uh, for the 5 volt power supply of the Raspberry Pi itself. Um, here on the right, you see the sockets where the motors are connected. Two ICs for controlling the motors. Uh, two of them, the one here on top, are you, uh, also a PWM controlled, so you can change the speed of the motors. The ones on the bottom are only used for switching on and off, clockwise and counterclockwise. Uh, Lego motors have a kind of feedback, an internal encoder that gives pulses back that you can read to determine the rotation of the motor. So you can determine the speed and the angle of the axis. Uh, here you see the connector to the uh, Raspberry Pi, the I.O. connector. And here on the left you have two I2C I.O. expanders that give you 16 digital I.O.s. So all these inputs or outputs can be configured however you want individually as input or output and during runtime they can be switched from input to output and vice versa. You can program this system in Python which is quite common on the Raspberry Pi and there's a special library provided with this project to control the motors and to handle the digital I.O. Here's a short list, it is in Dutch but you, there will be a, an English translation later of the functions that are available in this library. One that is an exec file that's used to start the threads to make a PWM control of the motors available and then you have some commands for controlling the motor forward, reverse, float, brake, PWM for speed control of two of the motors and a board to stop the motors and then you have some commands for reading and writing inputs and outputs and switching the um, direction of the digital I.O. and a TACO function that is used for the motors to read the optical sensors inside the LEGO motors. Uh, there are some demos provided with this project. Uh, yes, I can show you here some of the things. Uh, the first one, I have to have a look, controls motor 3. Uh, what it does is uh, start running the motor for one half of the rotation and then uh, switch to the other direction. Okay, let's correct that. It's a full cycle it makes and then it reverses. And the same goes for the other motor that's connected to output 4. I can show you that too. Of course you can mix them in one script. We have, we have four. Ah, 
that's the other one for motor 4. And the last demo will be the IOs. If I can find it here, just a second. Well, as you can see, we have some kind of running light. The demo does all the 16 IOs, but I always only put four LEDs on these uh, outputs. Well, that's about it. Thank you for watching.